Hey, <clears throat> this is the DeFacto 1, the first model from DeFacto was designed in this way in 2009 uh, as I was a student and um, yeah, this is uh, a one hand watch as you can clearly see, um, it has a very um, raw and brutalist kind of square dial and this skeletonized um, um, edgy kind of uh, edgy because of the edges. <laughs> uh, 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 one hand um, hand, <laughs> and um, yeah, time is displayed in just 15 minutes uh, steps, like with the de facto meter. Uh, here, you know, we can see it's uh, one and f 15, 30, 32 or so, about you know. And um, that's what it's about. It's about intuitive time reading, um, seeing time more as a process. And um, yeah, if you have a, for normal work processes, like if you have something to finish to two or meet someone at three, it's absolutely enough and uh, shows time in more in a more relaxed way, um, more in a process, in a flowing, in a, in a flow actually. This was the idea of the watch, and uh, still available now. And now here you can see with the blue dial, it's a special edition coming soon. Uh, night blue dial, super luminova, hands and indexes, the in-house made uh, 42 mm watch case with a brushed surface, and um, yeah, it's ETA 2824 automatic movement, Swiss made, like in all our automatic watches. And um, in a new watch case design with a 10 ATM waterproof now. So this is also part of the more rougher uh, de facto watches like Kinetic, Accord and Eins. Um, giving you more water resistance in a stronger case, let's say. Um, yeah, what else? Um, it's, um, it's definitely like... Uh, what, what customers say it's uh, also like a piece where they were often guided uh, like to conversations like uh, what what is that what what do you have on your wrist um, so so yeah it's a, a bigger sized watch um, but not too too large um, um, 42 millimeters and 51 from luck to luck and 9.8 millimeters in the height you can also have it with a slightly domed sapphire or with a hand wound uh, movement on demand. Also, like you can say, uh, I want to have a bronze or a titanium case or PVD or whatever. Uh, so it can be, of course, uh, be further customized also with your engraving on the back. And um, yeah, people say, the uh, customers also say that uh, yeah, in this thing that they often talk about the timepiece and um, they also give me the feedback that um, they really like the perception of time with this or with the meter. Um, it's really, that's the main part about the watch actually, that it's a more, more fluent kind of um, umgang mit der Zeit, yeah. uh, time, time, time reception. And um, yeah, this is the de facto 1. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, 